Now what I have here is the dataset auto.dta that I've used in some previous videos and as you notice here that in the results or the output window in Stata I already have the results of some statistics that were generated some commands that I executed and you may notice that this is the output from the descriptive statistics video what we want to do here now is cover how do we go about saving the results of our output the easiest way to do so is to come up to the file menu left mouse button to open up the drop down menu and I'll come down to print over to results and left mouse button using a PC and what this does is opens up what are the various printers that are available uh, at this point for what I'm using here at home if I scroll across what we'll do is we'll come across and what I'm looking for is the print to PDF file and right there I see it Microsoft print to PDF so I will simply select that and now I'll cl click on the print button and here I can add in headers uh, the name as well as description of the project if I so choose I'll just go ahead and just ignore that at this point and it'll bring me then to a menu and here's where I can then simply type in a uh, a name for the file that I'll be saving so this is the first way in which we can go about then saving our output easily so I will call it this um, descriptive statistics video output and I and let me just open up that file for you and as we scroll down we'll notice the output begins and you notice the not only is the command that's executed but also the output follows it and so this is one way in which we then can display the output for a Stata job and save it for looking at later on. While creating a PDF of the output from various statistics commands that you've generated in Stata for a given session may be an easy thing to do. It does have its limitations one of those limitations is that you can't go back through and actually delete the output that you're not interesting in interested in maintaining or in saving what I'd like to do here is show you a little bit easier way of doing so that allows us then to really modify the output that we have I'm gonna move the cursor into the results window and I will just click here towards the bottom of the results window and holding down my mouse key I'll just drag the cursor up and I'm just gonna come down I don't need to have all the stator header information I'll just try to come up here and see if I can grab the information um, I'll tell you what I'll start I will start at the top here where the very first command I executed click and drag all the way down to the bottom of the output release the mouse button and I'll just come up uh, I'll just simply do a right mouse button and you got a couple options one is copy table one is just simple copy I'll just use the simple copy command now I'm going to open up a blank word document and with that blank word document open I'm going to, to simply do a paste and this is our output that we have from the most recent um, for that entire session for Stata. Now one of the problems you see here is first of all the spacing is off from what it was that we saw in the Stata screen output window. Also we noticed then that the information doesn't line up nicely in the columns that we saw they did in this data output so let's go ahead and change that so I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag 
to highlight all the output I have here in this file. And let me go ahead and move that cursor up so we can see some of the output. Or I could have used Select All in Word as well. I'm going to come up under Home. And what I'm going to do first of all is change the paragraph. So what I want is no space before and no space after each line. And I'm also going to just have single space for my spacing. Click OK. And that gets us part of the way there. But you notice we're still not lined up all the different columns and so on. And the reason for that is because the current uh, uh, font that I'm using, let's see, what is it? I believe it's Calibri, uh, is a proportional space font. So the M takes up more space than does the I. What we want to use instead is the font Courier New. I'll come down and select Courier New. And Courier New we see here is not a proportional spot, uh, uh, font in that each character takes up the same amount of space as every other character we see here, in essence. And now we notice that once I've done that, the output does line up the way it was meant to in terms of the tables generated by Stata. Now that works fine for output that's not very wide, but as we grow down just a little bit, for example, the summarize output, you notice it wraps around here. It can't fit all the information in one line, so it wraps that line around. What we'll want to do is to change the font size then. And what I find what works really well is to change the font size to a font size of 9. Let me go ahead and highlight all the output. Come up here to Home. And now I'm going to change the font size to 9. Now as I scroll up, you should notice now all of the output and even the commands that were generated also appear nicely within the confines of the page I have here. So that's how we can easily then by using the Courier New font and a font size of 9. But let's say some of this output I really don't want to keep. For example, let's take the summarize output I have here. I don't need that. As well as the detailed examples I went through. You know, a lot of this information I generated with the very last tab stack command. So I'll just generate that one tab stack command that has all of that descriptive statistics information. And I'll come back up here and let's say I don't want, oh, uh, let's see, I'll keep everything else. So I'm down to a few frequency distributions and that one tab stack command. And now I can go ahead and save this file as a Word document. And I've saved now the commands and the output that I was interested in keeping from that particular Stata session.